What is up, YouTube? It is Nick from MetalogicDesign.com here, and today I will be showing you what exactly Go High Level is and how to get started. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Go High Level is an amazing all in one platform that essentially replaces all of the tools that you are probably using right now for your business, like Calendly, WordPress, MailChimp, and more. And puts it into a one neat package for you and basically cuts cuts the price by a wide margin. So go high level for yourself if you do want to run it just for one agency. So that it means that you can only have one business on your account. It's only $97 a month, which is nothing if you use all the other tools that I've or even one of the tools that I just listed. If you're want if you're an agency, you want to run um multiple multiple uh campaigns, multiple accounts under your umbrella account right so it goes main account crm 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 if you want to have unlimited accounts that is 297 dollars a month and then if you want to whitely have a go high level which essentially is unlimited accounts unlimited surveys you get your own custom portal essentially they'll brand it to how you want to brand your go high level portal and they'll even create a whole app for you that is 597 dollars a month which again is nothing if you use a combination of all of these services and tools that it replaces. So let's go ahead here and scroll through Go High Level just to see what it has to offer and why it's such a great platform. And then we'll get into Go High Level itself and dissect each feature one by one. So in Go High Level here, we just scroll down here, you can see you can create full websites, um, sales funnels, and landing pages. You can create unlimited of these. You can even create snapshots, which essentially is you can create a website and automated workflow on one account and copy and paste it into another account so let's say you are a you you do marketing for plumbers right you can create essentially one master snapshot and then copy and paste it and then brand it to whatever clients you're bringing in so it eliminates all the work in the back end as well it's a really cool feature to have you can also create drag and drop surveys so it makes survey building like you see the survey here claim uh, free teeth whitening the survey was built in go high level and what's really amazing about these surveys is once they press submit you can make that survey submission a trigger in a workflow and it gets it gets rid of all the lead follow-up that you'd have to do manually so if you go in the if you automate a workflow and you stress submit essentially that your client or whoever clicks submit is going to get a email automatically a text automatically you could make it so they are added to a specific workflow and you create a value within that workflow it's it's amazing i'll go through it one by one in a second here but again go high level is just so cool you can create online appointment scheduling so this eliminates the need for calendly essentially you can in your in your survey here or in your forms you can embed a appointments uh section here and you can sync it to your whatever calendar service you're using right now. So let's say I'm just using um, calendar on my iPhone here. Essentially, it'll sync up with my iPhone and it can automatically determine what the best times are for me or what the slots are available. I can also set the time. So if I only want an appointment between 12 and 5, it'll automatically just populate 12 and 5. And as people keep signing up, they will eliminate those time slots that have already been selected so if you scroll down here you can see like i said before automated follow-up campaigns again an amazing thing we're about to dissect here in a second multi-channel campaigns so you can connect with all of your customers or potential customers through facebook messenger whatsapp um, sms email you can even call them from go high level and that they make it really easy to do so on their two-way communication you can see here, you can put all of your contacts into one section of Go High Level. And across all platforms, you can communicate to them. So you don't have to keep switching between Facebook Messenger and then switch to email. It's all in one nice and neat um, section here in Go High Level. And then like I said, fully automated booking, it does all the work for you. So there's no going back and forth. Hey, what's best for you? Oh, this time isn't best for you. It does all the work for you. So you can get back to essentially doing what you do best and run your business, right? Scroll down here, you can see, like I said before, you can create unlimited 
um, agencies with Angle High Level Limited Forms, Limited Websites. If you do want to sell this a software as a service or you offer a course, there's a whole section in Go High Level where you can build the course and sell it from there. And then, like I said, down here, workflows, you can connect Stripe to your Go High Level and just connect payments from Stripe. And then your analytics and report dashboard. So you can see the amount of conversions, the value of all the conversions that, excuse me, are in your pipeline. And then you can even go to a reporting section in, in go high level and see for all of your conversions from your calls your facebook conversions your google ad conversions and it breaks it down for if it's a first time call who called um and was the call a, a first time call was it dropped yes or no so that's go high level and essentially in a glance so you can see here white label white label agency here you can white label go high level for yourself and just a quick little snapshot, you can also get a feel for what exactly it replaces. You can see here, it replaces call rail with the conversion tracking. It can replace HubSpot with the workflow automations, MailChimp with the email marketings, surveys and forms. You can see it replaces all of these here. Website Builder, it replaces Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress. So then down here, you get a feel for the pricing. So let's go ahead and hop into Go High Level so we can go one by one and dissect what exactly go high level has to offer in the platform itself so here we are in go high levels agency dashboard as you can see here we're going to go ahead and connect twilio and our mail service provider into go high level so that way we can send texts and emails going back and forth between us and our clients so let's go ahead and click settings phone system twilio you see i already did this before but what you will see are these two fields that are empty so you'll go ahead and go into Twilio. Let's just do that right now. Okay, so here we are on Go High Level's agency dashboard. We're going to go ahead and connect Twilio and our mail service provider into Go High Level so that way we can send text and emails between ourselves and our potential clients or clients that we already have. Let's go ahead and click settings, phone system Twilio. See, this is already done here, but what you'll see are two empty fields for account SID and the auth token. Excuse me, so let's go ahead and go into Twilio. Here in the dashboard, we're going to select account SID. Go ahead and copy that into Go High Level. Same thing with your auth token into Go High Level as well. And then where it says automatically connect sub accounts or create sub accounts, you're going to select that. So that way, when you create new sub accounts in Go High Level, it'll automatically connect with Twilio. So that way, you don't have to keep going back and forth between the two platforms. So let's go ahead and click save. All right, and that's how you set up Twilio. And then if you don't have Mailgun and want to use another uh, STMP provider, you can go ahead and go down to STMP service, add your service, and then you have Gmail, Yahoo Mail, SendGrid, and other. So you can go ahead and if you want to select Gmail, you can go, you can go add email, password, save, and then there you go. That's how you connect your email service into Go High Level. We're going to go back here and let's go ahead and create a new sub account for you all to see. Let's go to sub accounts. We're going to add a new sub account. So Go High Level is kind enough to be giving us a ton of different snapshots for individual industries. So you can see here, you can start you can create your own with blank. You can go into attorney, a coaching snapshot, a home service snapshot. That's why I used in this one before, Nick's home service. Etc. So let's go ahead and say we are a marketing agency. Why not? And we're going to be located in the Empire State Building. Obviously, if you're running it for someone else or yourself, you'd click your own service here. But I'm just excited to be going to New York next month. So let's go Empire State Building. Let's go ahead and put our information here.
as you can see here, if you already are in Google My Business, it already populates with the business name, street, city, country, all this information itself, even website too. Time zone. Uh, let's go ahead and find where are we at here? America, New York. Save. And boom, there we go. Now we have the Empire State Building, and it's going to be running as a uh, real estate, or sorry, a marketing agency. So you see, there's going to be a, lo a icon or logo already here, since I did pull this from Google My Business. If not, you can add it yourself. Let's go ahead and switch to sub account. Okay, so here we are in our sub account on the dashboard. So you can see here on the left hand side, Empire State Building, New York, New York. Here's our sub account. It essentially is a quick snapshot of where we are and opportunities, the pipeline value, conversion rates. And what we'll, we'll see here is a funnel and a sage distribution by pie chart show up here once we get into our pipelines and opportunities. And then we have manual actions and tasks. So Really, just keep this in mind. We're going to come back to this. I know it's a little confusing to explain, but when I go to this next part here, it'll all make complete sense. So we go into opportunities. And again, Go High Level was kind enough to give us a uh, pipeline as well, already pre-made. So you can see here, they've given us a marketing audit leads pipeline. But we're going to go ahead and create our own pipeline. We can name it um, pipeline example. Let's do a hot lead, form submitted, calendar, appointment set up, um, show up, so they showed up to our appointment that we scheduled, no show, sold, and then we have upsold. Let's go ahead and click save. But before you do that, just make sure visible in funnel chart and visible in pie chart are clicked to the right. So that way when you go into dashboard, you can see a visual representation of your pipeline. Let's go ahead and click save. Back to opportunities here. And let's switch our pipeline to pipeline example. So here we are on our pipeline. Get let it populate. There we go. We have what we've just set up before. So what happens when we add a contact into our pipeline? So I've already created a contact for myself off screen. So here I am for your contact, you can add them. You can, so what you can add to your contact, excuse me, is email, phone, you can add a tag. Essentially you can organize this however you want. When we do cold outreach, we essentially add a tag to each of our potential customer's city, so we just know exactly where they are in the United States. We have the company name, Nick's Home Service, the one we just, uh, example you just saw in the beginning. Opportunity name is myself. You can make this the company name if you want to or whatever you want to describe it to keep track of. So we have pipeline, pipeline examples that we just used. You can change the stages here. So we're gonna start off in hot lead. Status open, you can do open one, that means that you've closed, lost is they're gone, and abandoned means that nothing has happened to it. Lead value is go ahead and give ourselves a $2,000 value. Essentially that is just the value of myself, right? So let's say I've scheduled an appointment and I want to, or I'm looking to buy your $2,000 product. So you're selling this person on uh, a product and this is the value of that meeting. So if I do buy, that would be worth $2,000 to your company. Owner, if you want to assign a, a specific opportunity to a specific person, you can go ahead here and once you add profiles to your contacts or people to your profile, excuse me, you can go into owner and assign them to a specific person. An opportunity source is where it came from. Let's go ahead and select red. Alrighty. So here we are, we're gonna add ourselves into our pipeline. 
So when that happens, we're going to pop up in hot lead, right? Let's go ahead and go back to opportunity. So here we are, pipeline hot lead, Nick Serwinski. You can see the tags here and the opportunity value. So when you go along here, you can see how the value changes within each of these stages. So once you go back into dashboards, like we said in the beginning, wait for this to populate. Let's change this to pipeline example. And boom, so you can see here how the funnel went. So we went from hot lead, right? The form submission and accidentally, accidentally did click appointment setup. So this is a correct um, representation of our pipeline funnel so far. And we can see here exactly where we are in the stage at the moment. So you can see here, calendar appointment set up, 2000. This is where we are. Pipeline value, opportunities, conversion rates, and then this remains the same down here. So that essentially is your pipelines and your opportunities. Once you are done with the person, you can go here. You can change your status, let's say one, update. So we've sold this person, congrats. Let's go back to dashboard and boom. So we've just essentially closed on one person and they were worth $2,000 to our, our company. So that's how pipelines work and opportunities work. Let's go ahead and jump into conversations. Well, here we are in Go High Levels conversations tab. So what it is, is within Go High Level, you can keep track of your conversations between Facebook Messenger, SMS, email, and other platforms that Go High Level integrates with. And it's all together in one platform for you. So let's go ahead and test it out and create a new conversation with myself. So we have customer name. If you already have a contact in Go High Level, you can just auto populate it here. My phone number name. If you have a template, I'll show you how to make one in a second here. You can simply just go ahead and select the template you want to use, or you can simply enter a message here. So let's go ahead and say, hi, Nick, and send the message. So let's go ahead and go to swipe to all here. It should populate in one second. And here we are. So we have myself, hi Nick. If you wanna switch between SMS and email, you go right down here and do it. And real quickly, let's go ahead and make a new template. So let's add a template, add a text template. Let's go ahead and do survey submitted. So we can do, hey, and then we have a list of custom values here. So let's go ahead under contact add first name. So when you do want to send this to multiple people, you don't have to go in one by one and change the, the contact first name, right? It just automatically does it for you. So we have, hey, contact first name. Thank you for submitting a form. And you do save. If you want to test it down there, there's a little test feature. So we have survey submitted. Let's go back to conversations. Here we are and myself. If you want to go down the bottom left in this little pages where it says use a template, it'll show up here any second. Template, survey submitted, use template, and it'll populate here if you want to make any last minute changes. If not, simply press send. Save a little long time. Let's go ahead back to conversations and boom. So you can see, hey, full name or first name populated. Thank you for submitting a form. So that is conversations. Let's go ahead and hop into calendars. Okay, so here we are. We're going to learn how to set up calendars in Go High Level. So instead of going to calendars right here from your sub account, let's go ahead and go into settings, click calendars, and let's create a new calendar for you. So the calendar name, let's name it marketing plan. So these will be, these will be people who we want to meet with in terms of a marketing plan. Let's go marketing plan submission. Appointment title, let's leave it as the contact name so I know who I'm meeting with that day. Main location, you can change it to whatever you want. You can do Zoom, your office building, etc. You can change the event color in your calendar so you can know that this, this specific color means I have a meeting. Let's go ahead and make it a bright red. And then link to calendar, you can link this to a Gmail or an Apple calendar. So that way your calendars are synced throughout all platforms or all devices. So 
let's say you're on your phone or your iPhone and you will get an appointment for when someone makes a new meeting or you have a meeting within the next hour or so. And to do that, sync option, if you'd make it two ways, that allows both parties to talk to each other. Let's go ahead and select save and continue. So you have availability. So slot duration is how long you want the meeting to last. So we have an hour here. The slot interval is the amount of time between the slots. So let's go ahead and do an hour. And the buffer duration applies to after the meeting itself. So let's say you do have um, a meeting at 5 p.m. and you close at 6, 6.30, right? So you have a meeting from 5 to 6, and let's say that I put the duration to be 30 minutes. I won't have another meeting after my 5 o'clock meeting because I'll be closing at, at uh, 6.30. So essentially it applies to after the meeting. So let's say someone signs up for an appointment at 1.00 that ends at two, I have to wait to at least 2.30 to have a next meeting. Appointments per slot, if you have multiple calendars, you can allow for more of these. I just do one, so that means that I can only have one appointment for that uh, time slot, right? So only one person can be uh, assigned to a 12 p.m. slot instead of having two people for that slot. And then we have amount of appointments per day. Let's say we want to have at least five appointments a day, why not? Scheduling notice, so this essentially means that when you do send this to a customer to fill out, and so when you do have them um, sign up for a meeting on a calendar, if, let's say they leave it sit for a while, and they want to meet with you the next day or so, and you just don't have enough time to get things prepared, you can go ahead and set up a scheduling, a minimum scheduling notice, so let's go ahead and make it one day. So let's say today's Monday and I wanna make an, a meeting, my earliest meeting time slot will be available on Wednesday, giving the person who is essentially sending you this, this calendar invite one day to prepare for that meeting. And then the date range is how many days do you want to be available to take meetings. So let's go ahead and do a month so we can have meetings all month. Office hours are the hours in which you're open or closed. You can switch it between the dates and you can also switch the times. For this example, let's leave it from eight to five. Let's go ahead and select save and continue. And then confirmation, this is a custom form. You can change the form in your form builder, which I'll show you later. But this is just the form that your customers will see when they want to submit a calendar um, invite. You can use sticky contact, sure. And then we have let the calendar auto confirm my appointment. So this means that when they do talk to each other, you'll be auto notified that these appointments are um, set in stone. When you do have a new appointment, you can go ahead and create your own email so you are notified. So this is going to be the email it sends it to. Um, allow Google Calendar sent invite. Let's go ahead. That's fine. You're going to allow for a reschedule, allow for cancellation. This is what will happen if they need to reschedule or cancel. If you want to inc incorporate a Facebook Pixel ID, you can go right ahead. I think it's good to include if you want to collect as much data as you can for Facebook and you want to run Facebook ads. And then this is your thank you message once they complete the um, <clears throat> the face the excuse me the calendar form. So here we are, we've completed it, and you can see marketing plans is here in our calendars. Let's go ahead and click that link. So here we are, we have the rest of the month right of November open because I did say I wanted to open for a month. So let's say I wanted to make an appointment for 9 a.m. I can select the date. And then, but before I go into the next step here, you can see here, right? I'm recording this on a Monday. The buffer has it so that I can only accept the first meeting on Wednesday. That's really neat. So here is the form that you'll be submitting. First, last, phone, email. Again, you can change this in the form builder, which we'll go after. We'll, we'll touch in a second here. Book appointment. Here's our thank you message. Is there anything you want to know before your appointments? I'll do no. Submit and let's add to Google Calendar. Google Calendar, save, sure. So here it is in my Google Calendar. Personally, we can close this here. And here I am, Nick Zerminski from 9 to 10 a.m. on Wednesday. So that is how you use calendars. If you want to do it manually yourself, you can go ahead and click book appointment and select the contacts, the time zone you're in, the date, and then the time slot. So that is how you use calendars and go high level. Let's go ahead and go into contacts now.
So here we are in contacts. What we can do from here is we can add a contact individually. We can change the pipeline. So if I wanted to change the pipeline I was in, right? So pipeline example showed up. I can change the opportunity name, the source. So what you've just seen in pipelines, I can change that from contacts. I can add them directly from a workflow. If I do select it here, yeah, we'll go over how to create a workflow in a second and how to add them. I can send them a text, send them an email. I can add a tag. I can remove the tag. I can delete it. I can send a review request, which we'll get into later. It's another really, really good feature of Go High Level. I can export the contact and make it into an Excel or CSV if I need to. Or I can import contact, which I'm going to do right here for you. So I'm importing contact. Let's go ahead into our Google Sheets here. I, I made a little examples page between John and Jane Doe. Um, you can change the top here. You can also add custom fields to add to. Just for this example, I'm just going to use this basic information that I made up. File, download, uh, download a CSV. It's down there. Let's go back to go high level. Drag this to upload file. And here we can map it out. So you can see it already ma mapped it out for you. Value, I don't see it here. There must be a custom uh, field on our other account here. So we're just going to not import that for now. So here we are, you can see it mapped it out. If things are not right, you can go ahead in here and change them. And again, you'll see your custom values as you see right here, but we'll do that at another time. Click next. Let's import the name. Let's do the does. And then if you wanted to go a little bit deeper, you go advanced. You can essentially, if they have an existing contact, you can find them here. You can add tags directly from here. So I could do the does. Add that as a tag for myself to keep myself organized to know what campaign this is from. And if I wanted to add them directly into a workflow from our uh, import, I essentially do this here, look up a workflow, and boom, I can add them there just like that. We're not going to do that right now because we don't have a workflow that we set it up. We set up. So I'm just going to do add them the tag, name, submit. Let's view the progress. We can go here and see how many uploaded. So we have total created, updated, and error. So you can see here, we just created two new contacts. Fantastic. So we have contacts. Boom. The does, where they're from, and tags. And that is how you import contacts into Go High Level. Um, when we do get advanced here, you can go ahead and select all of our contacts. If you want to add them to a campaign or workflow you'll have the history of all those actions here in bulk actions. You can see the does, bulk import, and that is all of our information. So that is contacts for now. We'll revisit this in a second. Um, let's go ahead and build ourselves an automation. So before we actually get into automation, I feel like it'd be best to build out our surveys and our email templates before we get into automation. So that way we have everything all in one place ready to rock. So within sites here, let's go ahead and click funnels. So these are our funnels and the steps within each of them. You can also build pages to go with along each step. So you can see here, a little marketing, marketing audit page, a services landing page, a claim market audit landing page. And this is all because I chose the marketing snapshot in the beginning of this video. So Go High Level actually already gave us this to work with, which is really good if you don't really know where to begin in your landing page designs or your funnel building. So I think that's really neat that Go High Level gives you that. And then within each of these funnels, you can see the stats, the sales, and you can change the settings here. You can change the name of the funnel, the domain of the funnel, the path, as well as the you the favicon uh, in the top here. And you can add tracking codes if you would like to. Let's get out of here. Let's go to websites. Again, you can build your own website within Go High Level. I find it easier to use actually than WordPress sometimes with all those crazy templates. So Go High Level is fantastic. It's a fantastic all-in-one marketing platform for you. And then we have blogs. You can create blogs to add to your websites actually here, or you can add them to your WordPress sites. So it's a really cool feature to have. Again, you can connect WordPress to Go High Level. Memberships we'll cover in another video. However, if you do have a membership or a subscription service, you can handle that all within this platform. Forms and surveys, let's put a pause on that. Chat widget, you can add a chat widget to both your Go High Level site and your WordPress site. So you can see all the features here. If you want to enable the chat bubble, you can. You can change the intro message as well as the avatar image. So you can see right here, 
this lovely lady with the hi there have a question you can change both of those things as well as if this person's already come to your site before and they're revisiting you can actually change the message that they've received here um let's go ahead into widget window so when they click onto the chat widget which will be in the bottom right here this is what they will see and you can collect all this information and once you collect this information actually you can automate it so then they're automatic they're automatically added into a workflow just from the bubble the bubble itself so i find that to be really cool so we can change the header here the intro message you'll see here let's go ahead and get the email because as you know the more information the better the legal message if you want to you know if you want them to know exactly what they're signing themselves up for the widget color and then agency branding if you can also change that back and forth if you'd like to and then acknowledgement settings and our thank you page. So you can see here, thank you, and our acknowledgement message. So that is the chat widget. Media is just our media folder. This is all the content that we're going to be posting on our site or our logos, what we'll have here. It's all going to be found within your media library. And then URL redirects. If you are working on a page of your site, you can actually redirect your visitors to another page um, so they don't see what's going on behind the scenes. So that is essentially the majority of sites. Let's get into, excuse me, um, form and survey builder. Essentially they're the same things. So it's gonna build one out in forms. So let's create a new form in our form builder. And we'll, we'll go to options here. We're gonna call this um, YouTube tutorial. So here we can change the name of the form. We can change exactly what happens when they press submit, right? So you can, they can either get a message from the form itself, or you can transfer them to your thank you page to track, which we like to do here. You can also add a Facebook pixel ID, again, to collect more information if you're on Facebook ads to see your um, your best customer, build, build lookalike audiences, et cetera. And then that's essentially options. Go back to fields here, so you can see here, a list of fields that we that go high level has given us to collect information so we can just drag and drop here we want their first name their last name their phone number their email let's go ahead and add a captcha to that and then a submission button uh, you can change the button here if you would like to you can change the color of the button you can change the border corner radius etc make it full width and then if you don't have a field here that you would like to add or you want to collect more information than what Go High Level gives you in the fields um, column here. You can go into custom fields and actually create your own. So let's go ahead here and select add custom fields. Let's do a comment field. So let's go here, press next. We'll name this comment field. placeholder so this is what you're gonna see right here so it says first name it's gonna be in the gray so we can just go ahead and select comment field here paste that down here let's add this into our uh, contact group so there we have it we have comment field I believe it should be showing up here in a second if not let's search it up comment field let's add that here and so here we are. Now, if they have any extra comments they want to incorporate in their form submission, we have those all ready to go. So we can select save, and that is how you save and create a new form. What's really cool about these forms is you can actually embed these not only to your Go High Level website, but your WordPress website, Squarespace, Wix, whatever. So here we are in our tree service marketing company's website. If you scroll all the way down, you can see that we've incorporated a Go High Level page or form, excuse me, into our web page. So why we do this is essentially when someone submits the form on this site, whether it be WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, etc., they're automatically uploaded into our automation. So they're already followed up with on our end without us having to do any actual manual work because we already autom we've already automated it on Go High Level. And this allows us to add them into our funnels, our opportunities, without having to do anything else. So that's why we use Go High Level. I think it's really powerful to use for business since it essentially takes the work, the manual labor out of doing follow-up or anything else related to generating leads. 
So we go back to go high level here and we go into marketing. So let's take a peek into our marketing tab and go high level. So within social planner, once you've connect all of your accounts via settings, integrations, and you connect everything here. So you can see we have our Google analytics, Google ads account, our Facebook account, Shopify, if you are an e-commerce business, TikTok, Stripe, and more. Once you've already integrated that into go high level and you go into social planner, instead of seeing this, you'll see a calendar in which you can create and manage all your posts across all social media platforms. And within emails, we have our email campaigns, which, which we can build, or we can go to templates. Let's go ahead and make a template for our automations in the next step here. So in email template, we can just go ahead and make a new one. Let's do a blank template, design editor. And within the editor here, you can change the name up here. So we can do example one. So it gives us a header. Let's go ahead and drag and drop an image in here. You can change the image URL here. And this is where you're going to see your media library pop up. Once you upload images, we can go into text. Let's add text. Let's go ahead and add a button. And then a quick footer. And essentially, that's how you make a email in Go High Level. Obviously, it's more in detail, but that is just the basics of Go High Level Email Marketing Editor. Let's go ahead and click Save Template. Go back, and now we have example one popping up here. We can go to templates, as we can create a text template, a survey template, etc., all right here. Essentially, this is what we can use in our conversations or we can use in our automations later trigger link so if let's say you have a an email opt-in or you want to kind of track the actions from a link you'll create those here and then if you are an affiliate marketer you can track all of your affiliates here in affiliate manager so now that we have gone through marketing and sites let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video which will be automation and now that we've configured our sites and our marketing campaign Let's go ahead here and create a workflow and automation. So this essentially is, is what we've been talking about. Ah! Okay, so now that we've already created our website, our funnel, created our chatbot and our email template and automation, let's go ahead and go into workflows and create our... <clears throat> Okay, so now that we've already configured our websites or our funnels, created a form to embed in our website and our email template, let's go ahead and create a workflow in automation. So let's create workflow on the top right. Core High Level already gives you quite a few um, templates here to use, but for our video sake, we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch. Let's create a new workflow. And before we get into anything, let's go ahead and name it YT Tutorial. Perfect. Okay. Before we start adding actions, we're going to go into settings and configure everything here. So that way, when we go into actions, we can seamlessly just breeze through it. So here we are in communication management. So this is, we'd like to use this, especially for outreach. So when we do have an action to send an email, we have an action to wait or delay the next action for a few days and then into the next email. We like to have it so it only sends on weekdays, meaning that Let's say we have, we send an email on Wednesday, right? And we have a three day wait period. So it goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Go high level if you selected it would send it on a Saturday. But since we don't want our emails to send on a weekend, it will delay the action until Monday. And then we have time. You can select whatever time you want your actions to take place. And then we have sender address. So this is when you have your email actions. This is from the name it's going to be from and the email is going to be from. Let's go ahead and fill these in so we can breeze through all of these actions in the future. I'll show you in one second how that works. There we go. Contact management, you can allow multiple, let's say you are a e-commerce business and you want to sell, and you sell a product, right? And they buy multiple. Maybe you want to allow them to enter it twice. I'm not too sure. If not, if you're a service business, I recommend it's only allowing it, only allowing the contact to enter the workflow once. 
Um, we do like to have stop on response on, so when we do send emails for cold outreach or if they do respond to an email in general, we can go in there manually. They'll be taken out of the workflow and we can address their needs manually. Conversation management, uh, I don't really like to auto mark as read. I like to go in there and read all the replies myself. And then workflow sequence management, you can essentially start the workflow on a certain day. However, when you go into contacts, you know, select your contacts, you can actually schedule when they enter the workflow, which I think is a lot better than what we have here. So that is the settings. Let's go into actions. So if you remember early in the video, I had it, I said where we embed these surveys and these forms on different websites across Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, Go High Level itself, etc. And when they submit the form, they're uploaded into our workflow, right? So right now, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding this the form as a trigger. So when they enter or submit the form, they're they're entered into this workflow. So we have here contact actions, form submitted. Let's go ahead and do contact form. That's what this is. <clears throat> Let's add the filter. Let's go ahead and do form is. And then we have YouTube tutorial. So that's the one we just created recently. And also too, we ha I said that we can create a trigger from a response to our web chat bot, right? So how you're going to do that is you're going to do contact actions, customer replied. Let's name this chat bot so we know where this is coming from. Add the filters. Filter is going to be reply channel chat widget. So when our customer fills in their name, phone number, email in that chat bot, we, they're entered into this workflow. So there we have it. Those are our two triggers we have. From there, let's go ahead and add them into our pipeline we created. So let's do add to pipeline. Select the pipeline. We created our pipeline example. Let's do form submitted, which should be our opportunity name. You can just do new lead. <clears throat> the source is going to be web. Lead value, you can essentially put these contact forms on different pages and same with the chatbot. You can actually put the chatbot and different chatbots on different pages. So um, let's say just for this example, they're on it. This is on a page where we are selling a thousand dollar worth a product worth a thousand dollars here. And our status is going to be open. So let's we can allow opportunity. No, let's, let's let's leave that off here and then allow duplicate opportunities. We don't want again, we just want them to enter one time. Let's go ahead and select save. From here, let's add a contact tag. So add contact tag. Let's just do new lead. I created one earlier. So there we go. And let's email our, our potential customer who has submitted our contact us form. So we have action name, email. Let's just do follow up. From name, remember we did this already in settings here, so we don't actually have to do anything here since that's going to be auto populated for us. Subject, we'll do thank you. And if you remember our email that we did earlier in the email template, you can go within email templates here and select your own email. So we have our example one. And if you need to test any of these emails or SMS um, actions, you can actually go here into test emails or test SMS and see it for yourself before you essentially just shoot it off, shoot it off into who knows where and all your customers see something that's not a complete product. So you, that's a really good feature to have. We're going to be using our example. Just pretend that that was a thank you follow-up example from our, um, our contact form. And then let's go ahead and send them a text as well. Again, you can create a template in conversations. And but for this example, let's just go, hey, contact first name. Thank you for reaching out. A staff member will be with you shortly. And then we can do save action. Okay, so now as we have it, just looking at it right now, once they are, once they have submitted a form or respond to our chat bot, they're going to be added into our pipeline. 
given an, a tag, you can organize these however you want. They're going to be followed up by email and also followed up by text. So that's pretty much how we do it. If you also want yourself to have a notification, we're going to go to internal notification just to keep track and recognize that we have a new lead in the workflow or in the pipeline. We can just leave it internal notification. Let's go ahead and do an email. So from name, we can assign a user this notification for this email. So let's go all users. So all users are going to be getting this email. The subject is going to be new lead. A template, again, if you have a template, go ahead and insert it there. If not, do this. Hey, custom value, user, first name, so to be hi, Nick. You have a new lead in go high level. Let's do period. Make sure to check it out. Boom. And there you go. That's how you create a workflow if in go high level. Let's go ahead and press save here. And done. And now we have a workflow. Let's take a quick look into the reputation tab in go high level. So what Go High Level is doing is eliminating the need to use Bird Eye for your business by having their own reputation management services in the platform itself. So you can see here an overview, all the quick glances of metrics like average rating, sentiment, the reviews received, as well as your latest reviews and review requests here on the overview page. If we go to requests, you'll see the history of review requests you've sent in over the last few months or a few days. And then reviews are all the reviews that you have, you have generated on your Google My Business account. What's really cool about Go High Level is you can actually respond to each of what, all of your reviews in Go High Level itself. So you don't have to go back and forth in between, in between the two websites. You have it all here in one nice, neat place for you. And then listings, essentially what it does is it updates all of your information across all of these sites here. Uh, I don't have that set up, so I will do that in another video. But that is what listings will do. So let's go ahead and set up our reputation management campaign by going into settings and then reputation management. So you'll this will be empty for you. So what you're going to do is generate a link. Here you go. Copy that into Google. And we can see here it takes us to our Google My Business and asks for a review. Alrighty, so review request behavior is essentially what happens after you click this button here, send review request. So you can either A, send the review request immediately once, so they'll get an email and a text just once after you send the review request. Or what we like to do is you like to follow a custom schedule. So what you can do is you can, you can set a time for when you click it. So let's say I click this, you can have it wait or send immediately. We can send it immediately. And then what we can do is every three days, if they don't respond or give us a review, they'll be hit with another text and another email until they do, or until five times have run out. And that's essentially what you can do here for review request behavior. What you can do for the text and email review requests down here, you can edit the text within both of them to say whatever you would like. So for our example, let's go ahead and do, hey, Thank you for using Metalogic Design. Can you do us a huge favor? And leave us a request, or leave us a review. Something along those lines, but essentially you can see that I am editing the text here. And you can do the same here. You can edit the subject line, the heading, and the message that you'll see in the email. When they give a positive answer, you can respond to them saying thank you for such great feedback. And you can also do the same thing for emails as we did for text up here if you want them to repeat. And that is essentially how you set up your campaigns up here. When you do generate reviews, Go High Level has this also this amazing widget you can add into your Go High Level website where you can edit the header text, right? So you see where it said, what our clients think about us. You can, you can put whatever you want here. You can say our reviews and edit it however you would like. You can edit the title and the rating color. And essentially what would happen is when you generate new reviews from Go High Level or from 
Google My Business, excuse me, it'll automatically populate in this widget itself to essentially show off to uh, new customers or potential customers the reviews that you have generated in the past. So that is reputation management. Let's go ahead and take a look into the reporting side of Go High Level. Okay, and finally, we've reached almost the end of the video. Let's just go through reporting real quick and wrap her up. So reporting is essentially just a completion of all of the data across Google Ads, Facebook Ads, the mobile numbers we created early in the video, as well as the attribution report being essentially the amount of people within the pipeline, how many we closed, how many we lost, as well as the amount of people we have created an appointment with, how our meetings went, if we closed them, or if we lost them, right? So here we are in Google Ads. You can see all the data you would see in Google Ads if you went into the platform itself. The impressions, the clicks, conversions, conversion rate, cost per conversion, etc. What I find really cool though is actually instead of going to Google Ads itself and messing around in there, you can go into each campaign here and see the ads, the ad groups, and the keywords, as well as the performances in Go High Level. Same thing with Facebook Ads. You can see all the data up top, impressions, clicks, conversions. Go within each campaign and see how those are performing as well. The attribution report is again, like I said, it is just the pipeline, the pipeline value, how many we've closed, how many we've lost, etc. So you can see here, as again previously, we closed in one and that was worth $2,000 in our example. Call reporting is essentially when someone clicks on the mobile click to call button we created or calls from the website or landing page we added our number pool to. All the information and data will show up here. And what we can get from that is who called, the date they called, how long the call was, if they were a first time caller, and if we had answered the call, right? So let's say they call a number, we didn't answer, it would show up here, answer no, first time yes. And then also it would show the keyword that led up to the search that eventually led up into a call from them. And finally, we have the appointment report. Essentially, it is just a representation of who has booked an appointment, how they booked, who showed, who didn't show. You can scroll down here to see what calendar they're in, when they requested the appointment, who the contact was, and how they booked. And with that being said, let's wrap up the video. Alrighty, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for following along. Again, my name is Nick from MetaLogicDesign.com here. If you need any help, I will be answering all the comments in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.